Now we're going to look at distributive property backwards. It means that we start with something like this and go this way, okay? And if I think of the area model, it means that I have first two separate rectangles and I join them together to this one longer rectangle. And that only works if one of the side lengths is the same. Like here, if this side is two and this side is two, then I can join them together to a longer rectangle and put two here, okay, as you can see in the picture. As an expression, I will write the areas now. This all has to do with the area. Okay, the area of this is of course 2 times x. And then the area of that is 2y. And if I join those together, I get a big rectangle where one side is 2, the other side here is x plus y. I need to put that in parentheses. This is now the distributive property. I used it the other way. Okay, this number 2 here is called the common factor. Okay? Factor because we multiply by it. In a multiplication like 5 times 3 equals 15, the numbers you multiply are called factors. 5 and 3 are factors. So here's a multiplication, right? 2 times something. This is a multiplication, this is a multiplication. And the 2 is a common number in these two multiplications, so it's a common factor. Let's use that here. I have an expression where this is an area of one rectangle, this is an area of another rectangle, and now we will make a com combined rectangle, okay? For that, I need to find a common factor. I need to find a common number in this and this multiplication. But there doesn't seem to be any 12, 4, different numbers, right? X, Y. But there is, if I write 12 as 4 times 3. Look, now I have 4, the common factor that's going to be this side of the common rectangle, so to speak. And now let me draw, this rectangle here would be 4 this ways and 3x that ways, right? And then this rectangle would be 4 and y. Okay, now I combine those into a big rectangle, 4 this ways and then here's 3x and here's y, right? And as an expression I get 4 times this side which is 3x plus y. Let's do the same here without drawing an area model. But I have to think in my mind that this would be an area of some rectangle and this alone would be the area of some rectangle. 3, well you see I can write it as 3 times 1. So it is actually a multiplication. This is 6 times x. It doesn't look like there's any same numbers but hey I can dig out the same number 3 from this one because 6 is actually 3 times 2. Okay, now I have my common factor 3 visible there and I have two multiplications. Here's multiplication, multiplication. And now I can use distributive property backwards and write the area of my combined rectangle. 3 is the one side and the other side has the length 2x plus 1. And let's do the same here. What would be the common factor or the common side length? Again, in 40 there is a 5, so I can use that. I'll write 40 as 5 times 8. And don't forget the y from there, it's still there, you cannot drop it out. Now I have 5 times x, 5 times 8y. 5 is my common factor, so I put that in front of the parentheses. And then what is left here is x here, plus and then 8y over there. Okay, and we are done. I hope this was helpful.